So here's the gist. You get an Anubis level 2, you get a bunch of skeleton dogs. At the start of battle, Anubis triggers all of your skeleton dog abilities, and you just get a ton of early permanent scaling in battle. And then you just kind of hope that you win, I think is generally the play. Um, you can throw in a, a whale in there too, get a little extra value, but make sure your Anubis is higher attack than your whale is. But it should be a fun one. <laughs> Let's jump right in. Alchemedes, Ferret, maybe, with the Balloon, and then Beaver. So here's my thought. I think Beaver is the best pet to invest in this week. I'll tell you why. Essentially, when you run a beaver, unfortunate, when you run a beaver, you're betting on getting an elk later on, which is a pretty safe bet, to be honest. Like, your odds are you're going to find one eventually, right? So, what you do, actually run it like this, I'd rather, no, we can run the beaver, actually. Um, so yeah, we're going to get the beaver high level run an elk, it's going to be great, it's going to be fantastic, it's going to be a lot of fun, and hopefully we win. We get a huge pivot turn. That's not a great start, to be honest, but <laughs> we do get the level. What do we got? Balloon Skeleton Dog is great. If you insist. I don't know what I'm doing with you yet, but we got a level. And a guaranteed level, I do not say no to. Perfect. We got very lucky with that skeleton dog hit. Take it. Give me the level. Another skeleton dog. Dang, okay. Um, Stay strong on the beaver. Do we care about a toucan? <laughs> He could give garlic, so yes. Here to the ferret. Throw in a skeleton dog. Roll me. It's a level. Maybe into an elk next turn. That would be huge. Kinda wish we had the ferret still. This is not gonna end well. Beetle's too strong. There's the garlic we're looking for. Huge. Level you into an Anubis. We can get him level two. That works very well on our skeleton dog. Let's try it. Let's give it a, a solid effort, you know? Give you garlic. But right now, of course, it's not doing anything. But hopefully that'll change. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Um, is there anything better than garlic? No. Not at all, actually. You can't put anything besides garlic on the toucan this week. A little whack. I guess we can throw figs behind the toucan. Some of these go off and then, you know, the whole thing. has to go in order though. That could be problematic. So yeah, the fig doesn't work because <laughs> it goes based on the attack here. So there's our elk. I'm starting to wonder if we want an elk. <laughs> Axolotl's pretty good. Roll me. Right now, we're looking for Anubis, and we're looking for our kind of skeleton dog, I guess. Let's not keep a toucan. We don't need a toucan level up, come on. If we were in the correct order, we would have won that one. That hurts.
four, three, two, five. Poodle time. <laughs> this is poodle territory right there. If I ever seen it. We need to find the Anubis or we're going to be in trouble. It's kind of a bummer that you can't overwrite garlic with more garlic. That would make our lives a lot easier. Alright, Anubis me. Let's see it. We don't need that. Maybe. Throw him in there. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Not quite what I'm picturing, but maybe it'll work. That's fine. That, we're alive. That's all that matters. We're alive. Can we pull it out? Chocolate. Freeze. Man, that's tough. Oh, that's really tough. <laughs> we gotta go the air. It, it has to happen. But maybe we can get the Anubis next turn. I want to get this Anubis going. The Anubis skeleton dog. Something about it. Just feels right. Just feels like a, a calling. We gotta do it. I'm loving the garlic. We beat guest. Huge success. As a big dub. Come on. Where are all the Anubises? Anubis, Anubi, Anubi. I love how the Toucan plus Axolotl is giving us plus four, plus four each round. Like, what are we even doing this for? What's the point? That's the point, right there. It makes it all worth it. Anubis, please. Please. I'm trying for it. I really am. <laughs> Alright, next turn, next turn. If there is a next turn. Who knows, let's be honest. They do have a shark, which is a little concerning. We also have a giant Anubis. Beautiful. And now the Anubis gets level 2, making the skeleton dog. <laughs> All that for another 2-2 two, two each round? Oh man. This is enormous. Okay, obviously the Poodle's better here. I don't even know what exactly... Like, <laughs> like the end game build here isn't very good. I don't really know what we're trying for. But I mean, their team is pretty bad. I think we're officially in the in the trenches. You know, Ooze Bruiser. <laughs> He's having a rough time, you know? Just as much as we are. Well, more so, I guess, than we are. So it's kind of working out that way. We're getting like three different scaling synergies overlapping each other all they're all converging on the Anubis which is helping out a lot so much so that I think we need to move the Anubis now we need to start buffing our poodle with the toucan Only. we might even set the Anubis up front here right because then we can do this whole thing yeah let's try that I don't want to waste too many buffs on our Anubis. Get him to level or to 50 50 too fast, you know? What am I looking for? <laughs> What's our end game here? Anyone know? Anyone want to clue me in? I honestly have no idea.
I guess we should probably be giving you garlic, all things considered. Um, okay, that's fine. Yeah, so that's the problem with putting him up front, is he's not going to have garlic. But now we need to give him garlic, if we can find any. It's kind of weird we have, like, nothing that we're looking for. Aside from garlic, of course. <laughs> um, that's good. Follow me. I was hoping for something. Some sort of held food, but I guess this is fine. The wide scaling. Is it the fastest scaling you've ever seen? Unlikely. But it's pretty cool. Pretty exciting, nonetheless. Garlic, like, low-key kind of OP. Like a little bit. Little OP. <laughs> I mean, that's... That's what I was going for. You know, the Anubis skeleton dog. Was it that, or was it the Poodle Axolotl? Who's to say? There's really no way to officially decide whether or not the Anubis Axolotl or Anubis Skeleton Dog did anything. But hey, it did in our hearts, and that's what matters. <laughs>